skating called Sweat. Wait. Coconut. Not making workouts. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm so rusty. I haven't done this in so long. Hey guys, welcome back to Coco Lime Fitness. I'm Suzanne and I am just so thrilled to finally be bringing you another workout. It's been forever and I didn't think this day would come. So if you guys have loyally stuck by my side, thank you for being patient. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't tried these workouts before, then you guys are going to love it because as with all of our workouts, this one is completely low impact easy on the body, so if you have pain or fatigue issues, it's a great one to try. So today we're gonna do a cardio kickboxing workout. So, so excited about this one. It's part of a new series that I've created called Sweat and Stretch. Yes, because what we're gonna do is about 45 seconds of a cardio drill, doing the same move, and then we're gonna do about 45 seconds of an active stretch. So we're gonna keep that body moving during the stretch to keep your heart rate up but it's also going to decrease the heart rate so it doesn't get into high intensity mode and overly stress you out. So if that sounds good to you, you're just gonna need some good supportive shoes and tons of water. All right, come join me for the warm up. <sighs> okay guys, let's just get right into this nice rejuvenating warm up. You're gonna take your feet out wide and you're just gonna roll your shoulders up to your ears and then pull them back behind you, opening up your chest. Let's just do two more and smile because you are gonna feel so good after this workout is over. <sighs> Very good, okay, let's inhale up, inhale, nice big breath. And then exhale out through your mouth and then come down either to your toes or to your shins, hold. And then round that back up, shoulder rolls. Let's do that again. Inhale up and exhale out through your mouth, down. Touch the toes, round that back and shoulder rolls. Okay, we're gonna go right into our toe tap series. So you're gonna just toe tap, toe tap. This is gonna warm up all of the leg muscles. We're gonna add in some front punches to warm up the arm muscle so that you're ready for all of those kickboxing moves to come so you don't hurt yourself. So the warm up is very important, guys. Don't skip the warm up. Okay, bring those hands up into fighting stance. Ready, front punches. Left and right. Or for you guys, right, left. Just keep it nice and easy here. This is a warm up. You don't have to go too crazy. Make the punches soft. Four, three. We're gonna take these into hooks. Ready, hook it out. Hook, hook, hook. You got it. Oh, I feel those shoulders working out already. They're burning. Let's just do four more. Four, three, Two, now we're gonna do upper cuts. Ready, here we go, up. Now this one, you're gonna feel it in your abs, which is great because in kickboxing, we use so much of our abs. So it's really important to warm that area up as well. Four more, four, three. Then we're gonna go into a nice, easy march in place. March it out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, very good. Stay here. A one, two, three knee, one, two, three knee. Now don't make those knee lifts too, too high right at this moment. Again, this is just practice for later. Adding in those arms, one, two, three, pull. Four more, four. Oh man, I'm ready to move. How about you guys? March it out. Okay, now we wanna work the sides of the body. We're gonna do a double step tap over here and then a double step tap. Ready, here we go. Double step tap, 
double step tap. We gotta add in those arms now. Bring those arms up, out, out. You got it. This is like an old school move right here. It's like you're at the gym doing those chest presses. <sighs> Working those shoulders. Gotta get nice shoulders, right? It's the last thing to go in our bodies. Shoulders always look good. They don't get wrinkles. Nope. Okay, last two. Last one. Very good, march it out. Now we wanna stretch out those quads. Dynamic stretch, here we go. Step forward, pull, step tap, knee pull. Knee pull. So if you're also stretching out your hamstrings, the front and the back of the leg, the last one, smile. Sometimes I forget to smile. I'm so focused on breathing. Let's switch sides. Back, which is also equally important. Yes. If you lose your balance, don't matter. Nobody's watching. Just move. Let's just do one more. I'm definitely warm, how about you? March it out. Great work, and that's it. That's your quick little warm up. If you need to grab some water, do so. And I'll see you for the routine. Okay, let's get started with our first little interval. Okay, we're gonna start with 45 seconds on and 45 seconds of a stretch. So, here we go. It's going in here, so it's one, two, three, knee. We did this in the warm up, but now we wanna make it bigger, okay? So I'm gonna show you from the side. Come up on your toes. If you wanna make it harder, or if you wanna make it easier, you can drop down on those heels, but make each of the moves really big. Exhale. You got it, come on. Okay, you are gonna quickly see that you do not need to jump around to get that heart rate up. Okay, we're gonna go into our dynamic stretch. If you need to grab a chair, you can. Step forward, grab your quad, arm out. Step back, knee. We did this before. Knee. Now, if you want to make the stretch bigger, lean back, and then when you go forward, lean forward. Last one. Let's switch sides. Up. Woo! This one requires a lot of balance. So, I'm not gonna look at you guys in the camera. Last one. Great work. Okay guys, so for the next interval, you're gonna come down right here, four cross punches and two knees. Here we go. So it's a one, two, three, four, knee, knee. One, two, three, four, knee. Same leg here. Squat low, squat low. Squat low, squat low. Come on. I think I messed up. Did I mess up? Did you guys mess up? <laughs> it doesn't matter, nobody's watching. Come on. Make each punch count. Come on, you can do it. Are you breathing? Come on. Come on. Last one. Catch your breath. If you need to grab a chair, you can for this one. You're gonna do a figure four stretch. Arms out, down, and tap. Here we go. If you need to grab that foot to hold it up, that's totally okay. Just stick your booty out. So you're putting all the weight 
on your heel here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm totally out of breath already. That's not a good sign. Okay, grab some water if you need it. Okay guys, let's get ready. Other side, here we go. Catch your breath. One, two, three, four, double knee. Opposite leg here. You can do it. Squeeze, squeeze. You feel that in your obliques? I know I do. Oh my word. That's why kickboxing is so much fun because not only does it spike your heart rate, but it tones you up. It tones those abs. You get those nice, tight pulls and, I can't even talk and do this, you guys. I'm so rusty. Nice, tight and toned pull and abs, yes. You know what I meant. <sighs> Calm yourself down. Here we go. You got it. Oh my word. Okay, so I think I'm gonna hold my leg up because it's slipping a little bit. Catch your breath. Oh my goodness. Bring the heart rate down. If you're wearing a heart rate monitor, check to see that you're in medium intensity mode, okay? You're not going too high. Above 140 is usually pretty high. Okay, Marcia, you did it. End of interval three. Okay, so for the next little interval, you're gonna do an out, out, in, in, squat, squat. Here we go. Out, squat, squat. It doesn't matter, yeah. I already messed up. It don't matter. And I'm not gonna edit that out because it just shows where my brain's at today. And I know you guys, I know you understand. Too much coordination. <sighs> yes. Too much first thing in the day. Come on, move fast. This is low impact. Here we go. You can go faster if you want. You did it, okay. Dynamic stretch, easy. Take one heel out, lean down and up, catch your breath. Down, switch sides. This is my favorite one. Yeah. This one brings your heart rate way down, which we love. Catch your breath. Keep going. This one should feel like amazing. The back of your leg should be lengthening. Ah, last one. You did it, march it out, grab some water if you need it. Okay guys, let's go into our next interval. You're gonna do a V-step squat back on your toes. Here we go. V-step squat on toes. Cross those arms, cross, cross, up, up. Go quicker. Come on, get your levels. I'm gonna show you from the side. I'm on my toes and I'm uncoordinated. Oh my word. This is what happens when you don't record a workout for four months. You forget how to do it. Bear with me, come on, come on. Levels, come on. Squat it out. If you don't want to come on your toes, you don't have to. Okay, if you guys aren't sweating, I really don't know what to tell you. You're tougher than me, that's for sure. Okay, inner thigh stretches. Down to one side. Reach it up and over. Center, up and over, center. Just keep flowing here. 
Very good. Smile. You almost get that long one minute break. We're all looking forward to. Yes. Catch your breath. You're doing amazing. If you're still with me, great work. Be proud. And if this is all you can do today, it's totally fine. Very good. Be proud of that too. Just come back tomorrow or the next day whenever you're feeling good. Okay guys, we're gonna do two step touches like we did in that warm up with the chest fly. We're gonna add an inside leg knee. Here we go. Bigger, way bigger than the warm up. Okay, so if you're feeling like really, really amazing and you don't wanna do low impact anymore, you can add hops, okay? But if it, this is your first time doing this workout and you're somebody dealing with pain and fatigue issues, please just start with the low impact and see how you feel later today, tomorrow, and the next day before you progress, okay? As you can tell, this gets your heart rate up. Don't need to jump. Last one. Wow. Wow. Okay. Take those feet out wide. Turn those toes out. Put your palms on the inside of your knees and just stretch to open up your upper back. Shoulder dips here to the floor. We need it with all those chest flies. We work the front of the body. Now we want to stretch out that area and the opposing side, the back of the body. So we don't feel uneven or lopsided. Couple more. Bring those feet together. You did it. Okay guys, I want to explain the next move for you because it's a little tricky. So what you're going to do is pin your front leg to the floor and you're gonna do little taps back with the opposite arm. So it's a tap for two, stay there, out to the side and hook. So it's a tap, tap, hook, hook. Come join me, tap. Now that you got it, make it bigger. Hook, hook. I gotta focus on this one, it's too much coordination. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. If you're having trouble, with your knee joint. If it feels weird, make sure that you're lifting your heel off the floor when you pivot on that foot. Otherwise, you might kink the knee. Very good. Okay, same leg that was standing straight. You're just gonna stand there, keeping both legs straight. We're gonna slide down the foot and then take the arm that did the hook and when you come up, Open up. Here we go. Working those obliques again. Whew. Feel this in the back of your leg, your hamstrings, your shoulders, your upper back, your obliques, your core. It's amazing. Don't forget to breathe. If you don't breathe, you might pass out. Very good. Okay, march it out to the other side. Okay guys, let's practice the other side. So the opposite leg is pinned front and the opposite leg goes back and then out. Opposite arm to leg, here we go. Now hook, same arm as leg. Again, I'm not gonna say too much because I have to focus. Come on. Lift that heel off the floor, but keep that toe pinned to the floor. You got it, make them bigger. This is your last move for the first round. Can you believe it? Come on, make it big.
I think we missed our timer, marching out. We missed our timer, okay. Bring one foot forward, actually opposite foot forward. Yeah, I have no words, okay. Slide it down and then out. We're just gonna work past the timer for a few seconds. So if you hear that beat, keep going. I didn't hear the timer. I'm gonna even stop working. Open up the upper back. Smile. It starts to fall over here. Don't worry, just come back when you get your stability. Last one. Ah, coconut. Coconut wants to stretch with us. Okay, very good guys, shake it out. March, grab some water. If this is it for you today, stop here. Be proud of what you did. If you guys want more, get ready for round two. Okay, did you make it to round two? Woo, I'm like, I'm sweating like crazy. So hopefully we can get through this second round. Okay, so the first set, we're gonna do little toe taps and then a toe tap lunge, okay? So this one is filler for the leg. Here we go. So it's a tap, tap, lunge, lunge. Hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Come on. Make those sounds, it helps. I think it helps. Helps you to exhale and inhale at the right moment. So you don't get dizzy and you don't pass out. Come on, get some levels. If you're feeling extra tired today, you can just stay up here like this. Otherwise, come on. I love that one. Finish it out. <sighs> Very good. Hopefully you guys have a fan in your room. Helps tremendously. Okay, stay here. <sighs> Gonna inhale up. And then exhale, four touches, round it up. Here we go. <sighs> round it up. I love this one. Come on. Can we just stay here? Ah, great job. March it out. Okay guys, we're gonna do stationary squats for two and then kick right, kick left. Here we go. Squat, squat, kick, kick, squat. Squat, kick, kick. Now, if you need to grab a chair for balance here, there is no shame in that. Go ahead and do that. Or, if you're having some mobility issues, you can kick low right there. Low kick, low kick. Down, kick, kick. If not, amp it up. Amp it up, come on. Ah. Whew, your outer thigh's burning. Yeah. 
Definitely. Okay. We're gonna go into a runner's lunge here. Again, you can just do a high lunge here. Tuck your hips up and under, press it out. That's one. Switch sides. This one kind of looks funny. It's like you're tucking your glutes up and under, so sides. Oh my word, I cannot talk today. How are you guys? Last one. Let's just finish out this stretch since we didn't have time. Great work. Okay guys, we're gonna do four quick feet and then two front punches to the side. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, quick punch, forward. One, two, three, four, quick punch, forward. Make sure you lift those heels when you do those punches. Can you go faster without falling over? It's great because we're working all sides of our body. Come on. I think I'm going quicker. Come on. If you want to get lower, oh, you can do that as well. Next time, next time. Okay, we're gonna do an inner thigh stretch. You go down, inner thighs, reach your arm up and over, center, up and over, center. Here we go. Some feels so good. Exhale, catch your breath. I love this stretch, we do it often. Just because it feels so good, why not? The stretches feel good, that means they're good for us, so keep it up. Don't skip those stretches. Okay guys, the next little set, we're gonna do basic. Two front kicks, two side kicks. Here we go. Kick, kick, roundhouse kick. So when you do those roundhouse kicks, make sure that you stack your hips so you don't fall over. Very good, come on. <laughs> I almost fell over, so that's why I stopped. You guys do you. I don't want you falling over, so you don't have to do this pace. Apparently I can't do this pace either. So, you're in good company. Yes. We all fall over. It's about getting back up. I know that was cheesy, but it's the truth. Okay, come back down. Bring your heart right down. Can we just stay here? Okay. We're gonna do a little figure four stretches but you're gonna take your knee out to the side. So what I mean by that is your knee gonna point out and you grab your ankle and pull and drop it down, switch sides. Very good. This is just teasing us. This is a teaser for the cool down. Yeah. Don't know what I think of that. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Okay, come back up and march it out. Okay guys, we're gonna do two low jacks, two back kicks. So I'm gonna show you from the side, back kick, back kick. Back kick, back kick. So what helps here is to lean forward. If you don't lean forward, your kicks are gonna look like that. We don't want that. Make each kick count. <sighs> Pretend like you're kicking open a back door and you don't have any hands to open it. You have to rely on your legs. Come on. Whew. Power. You got it. 
Come on, one more, one more. Oh my word, you guys only have one more interval to go. So, so excited. Okay, guys, we did this one earlier, we're gonna do it again. Come down and up, down and up. Because we work the back of that body so much in that exercise. So I really wanna stretch it out, stretch out the lower back. You can add those arms in like we did earlier if you want. Gives you a deeper stretch. But yes, one of my favorites right here. Wow. Okay, one more exercise to go, and then you are done. Okay, guys, last little move. This one will bring your heart rate down. Stationary squat, punch for four, uppercut for four. Here we go. Go, go, go. Okay, make that back into a C curve. Round that back. Work those abs. Again, this one's hard to talk. If you can't fully extend those arms, just do a half punch. Woo! Those obliques are on fire. Come on. It's hard to not feel like super tough when you do this uppercut. You did it. Okay, so for the last little stretch, I'm gonna grab my mat for this one because we're gonna do pyramid stretches. So for this one, I'm just gonna walk your arms down and come into a pyramid stretch right here and then forward plank. So pyramid stretch. Make it so, if you can, you can try to hit your heels to the floor. I can't do it yet. I'm not that flexible. And that's it, you did it! Woo! Okay, be so proud of yourself. Grab some water if you need it, and we're gonna do a nice, relaxing cool down. You guys, be so proud of yourself. That was an amazing job. So now let's just take a couple minutes to cool ourselves down, bring ourselves back into a relaxing state, and catch our breath. So crossing your legs, we're just gonna do nice big inhales. You're gonna breathe in for four, hold your breath for four, exhale for four, hold your breath for four. We're gonna do that four times. Here we go, inhale up. Exhale out. Again. Exhale out. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale out. One more time. Exhale out. Ah, I already feel better. So let's loosen up the core and the back. So you're gonna take one arm across your body, across your opposite knee, and twist. Exhale, inhale. So throughout this entire stretch, I want you to do that same type of breathing. Inhale up, and exhale down. You already feel better, right? Already relaxed? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's switch sides. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again. One more time. Very good. Take one leg out to the side. We're gonna stretch our inner thigh. So grab at your knee, your calf, or your ankle, whatever feels good for you. 
and reach the arm up and over, hold, inhale. And as you exhale, turn your body toward your toe. Inhale, come back. Open up the chest and exhale, turn your body toward your toe. Let's just practice that one more time. Inhale, look at, the, look at me, look at the camera, hello. And then back. Very good, let's do the same thing on the other side because it feels so good. Okay, I'm gonna grab my ankle here. Inhale up. And then exhale, direct your chest toward your leg. Inhale up. And exhale toward your leg. Inhale up. And exhale. So amazing. Okay, you're gonna come onto all fours. And you're gonna take your knees out wide, wider than hips width here. And what you're gonna do is arch your back and then come down into a wide leg child's pose here. Hold, and then come up, arch, down, child's pose. Up, arch, down, and just stay right here in child's pose. Feels so good. Okay, let's come on out of it. You're gonna come onto your backs. Okay, the best part, you're almost done. And if you have more time today, you can stay here longer. Okay, you can bring one knee into your chest and then straighten that leg on the exhale. Here we go. Inhale. And exhale. Each time, you might notice that you can pull that leg a little farther forward and hold. Ooh, it just starts to be shaking. And drop it down. Let's do the same thing, other side. Inhale. And exhale. Last time, try to pull it farther forward. Hold, hold, hold. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, take your legs out, take your arms up over your head. We're gonna do that same breathing, inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. One last time, inhale up. And exhale down. And now I just want you to relax your entire body and just stay here as long as you can. Well, that was your workout. You are amazing. Thank you so much for watching and following Coco Line Fitness Workouts and for all of your support and testimonials, guys. And if you like this workout and you want to make sure that you get more of the workouts that are coming, then please hit that subscribe button and that little bell to get notified every time I make new workouts. Also, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know you liked it because that gives me a lot of feedback on to what to make later. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing, energetic, stress-free, pain-free day. Take care. Hi guys. I am so excited because we finally released the Coco Lime Fitness app in the iTunes App Store. And you are going to love it because everything is accessible in one place. You'll find the programs there. You'll find exercise modifications, testimonials, free workouts tips and tricks, Q&A, it's all there in my new free app. And don't worry, if you don't have an iPhone device, you can download the program still at my website at cocolinefitness.com. I'll make sure to put the links below. So I hope you enjoy the app, guys. Take care.